Uh, so when I was small, I actually didn't have an idea about table tennis. It's actually uh, so in the third grade, our class teachers they took us to the table tennis room, and then they told us to. That's the first time I knew that there's a sport called table tennis, and then they uh, gave us a racket and they told us to bounce the ball on the racket, and then uh, so that's the first time I actually got a feel of the sport. And that's the point where I actually fell in love with the sport, and to uh, that's the point where I wanted to continue and do the sport. Uh, so my first tournament was actually inside school itself. So it was a friendly uh, tournament we had in school. So that was the first time I got the feel of the competition and like how failure can affect you and how when you win the happiness you get that's the first time i actually experience all this and then uh, when we talk about the inter school tournaments um, we have won under 17 tournament for consecutive like four years and uh, that was very uh, it was a very joyful moment because to maintain that standard for our school for four years it was it brought me really it was very joyful so yeah Uh, so my first uh, junior national tournament was when I was in grade 5 and in that tournament I was able to come to the semi-finals and then after that in every age group I was the junior national champion so and then the, in nationals uh, I played the national doubles and I won the title for that I won the title for that and uh, Last year, uh, in last year, uh, that was the first time I came to a national final, and um, that was a really big achievement. But I couldn't actually become the national champion, so I'm hopefully looking forward to achieve that in the following years. I first represented Sri Lanka as a national player when I was in grade 10. So that was my first national tournament. So it actually, I was very nervous because I, I was very small and I didn't have the, I have, I didn't have that much of experience. But then when I went there, I was nervous and happy at the same time because getting to see the world ranked players play, that was a dream come true. Because I always see them in, in like screen, in a screen, in the laptop and everything. And now seeing them actually play like in front of my eyes was very happy I was very happy and it actually gave me a lot of experience to see how the other country like how the players play and how different their styles and their footworks uh, like the way they play uh, so it uh, like representing Sri Lanka and also when when uh, I won certain stuff in the South Asian junior we were able to win in the team event the silver medal and in the uh, individual event I was able to get a bronze medal. So uh, that was very, that was a very memorable moment because uh, it's playing with the South Asian countries and I actually got to know the place where I stand and it helped me to continue more and work hard to actually play and improve. So for the moment what I really want to do is uh, for like nationally if I consider I the current thing I want to do is to become the national champion and then if I consider internationally I want to uh, bring Sri Lanka to like a place where uh, people would actually remember that okay it's Sri Lanka the table tennis team you know they're really good I want to like bring my country to a place where people would remember us for table tennis Uh, so when I was small also I was able to balance both and my parents and my teachers they always supported me to they never 
they, at any moment they never said to stop, you need to stop playing table tennis, you need to concentrate on your studies, they never said that, they always said to balance both. So uh, it actually helped me to do, to get various experience. So therefore, be because of that experience they gave me, I was able to get nine A's in my O-level results. Uh, so I would firstly like to thank my parents. They have supported me right throughout at any instance. They've always been there for me. And also I'd like to thank my uh, first coach, Ms. Kodikara. She was, the co she was the person who actually identified that I, uh, have a cap I was capable of doing and I had a potential of doing table tennis. And I would also like to thank Mr. N.H. Pereira, who is our current school coach, uh, who, has, who has given me a large amount of knowledge about that field. And also Ms. Padni Ratnayaka, our teacher in charge, for always supporting uh, at every moment. And I would also like to thank uh, my current coaches, Mr. Indika, Indika Silva and Mrs. Deepika Rodrigo. They've always supported me and helped me to be where I am today and also the teachers and my friends who have supported me all the time at every time at like any situation to like control my emotions and everything. So I would also like to thank our principal Ms. Isha Speldavin and Ms. And Ms. Deepika Dasanayaka vice principal for always supporting and never always encouraging to continue and to balance both my studies and my uh, table tennis career. So I would say to always be honest with yourself and to love the sport you do. You need to love your sport in order to succeed in it and always to work hard and never give up. And sometimes uh, you may have to face various obstacles and it may take several years to actually get what you want. But what I believe is that always go the long way because short, you can't achieve something going through shortcuts because success doesn't exists like that, you need to go the long way and you need to face the obstacle, obstacles and you need to get that experience because that will help you to actually uh, face other obstacles in life. So I always say to be honest and to work hard and never give up.